Cookies is Mrs. Roberts with another book recommendation for you. Now this one is going to really break all the mold. It's something I can kind of relate to because it reminds me a little bit of Harry Potter, but it is totally different. The character, the main character is so unique um, and the setting is somewhere I've never visited and loved to read about, but we also have the addition of magic, which I absolutely love. So this is definitely a fantasy. And today I'm going to talk to you about Akata Witch. And this is by the author Nadima Okorafor. And she is actually a Nigerian born, um, but American author who um, really wrote a little bit about, a, about her own history in this book. So our main character is a girl named Sunny and she was born in New York City, but her parents moved her to Nigeria and she doesn't really feel like she fits in Niger uh, into Nigerian culture, into Nigeria. It's so different. Electricity is kind of go coming and going. Um, she just is not used to this way of life. Uh, the other piece of this is that she was born albino. So on top of going to Nigeria and not fitting in in terms of like kind of culture, but she doesn't even look like the people around her. And she um, is really, really athletic, loves to play soccer. But unfortunately, because of her um, albinism, she is not able to get out in the sun without an umbrella. So she just is really feeling kind of lost. And she discovers something um, over the course of her kind of early months in Nigeria um, that she possesses these magical abilities. And it's something that um, she's called a free agent, where it's not something that she kind of knew about. They kind of come upon her and she needs to get these skills and this knowledge quickly um, because there is a very sinister character lurking. Um, he's called the Black Hat. And unfortunately in our story, we have um, some maiming and murdering of children and he is coming all over Nigeria and he is attacking kids. And so her friends, uh, Chi Chi and Orlu also have these magical abilities and they really need to kind of hone their powers and get going um, before the black hat strikes again. So I love this story for so many reasons. I loved a really interesting character, a kind of new view for me, uh, a new place that I have never visited and now really want to, and also that magic piece. So I loved Harry Potter, um, but this is totally unique and beautiful and um, the magical people are called leopard people and when we finally see kind of where the, this group is living it is some of the most unique and interesting descriptions I have ever read in a book before. Uh, the mystery also gets you going. I will say there were a couple of like spooky parts in it that I would have to, I call it speed read through because um, they made me really nervous. And then as soon as that part passed, I was in it to win it. I love this book. Uh, one of the other benefits for Akata Witch is there's actually a part two. So there is a sequel to this story. We have both in the library and we also have access to them on Access 360. So if you have already been playing around with class link you know how to get into access 360 you know that you can check out books or place books on hold I would highly recommend Akata Witch especially if you like fantasy um, you like mystery definitely suspense you've got to get this one